All right, working off the model is perfectly fine. Let's say, for example, if I was to try to build a hand at that angle, it would take me a long time. So here, if I build the hand over here, it won't be that bad. Now we're going to pretend for a second. Again, this is all concept work. So the hand, in this case, would have fingers. The fingers would have joints. How do those look for your concept? Well, here, just going to go into sculpt mode real quick. Again, turn on wireframe so it's easier to see. And I do not have X symmetry on. Okay. F to make this really big. Oh, in your weekend drawing tablet, if you go down to brush size, so you can wheel this around to brush size, on your weekend drawing tablet, it allows you to change the shape of the brush via this little uh, circle. So I can just wave my finger magically on this, and it lowers the brush size. So if you ever see my brush size kind of magically go into the shape I need it to, it's because I'm using a weekend drawing tablet for this which really helps, I'm telling you. But you gotta learn when to use the mouse and when to use the tablet. Anytime I'm in sculpt mode, I basically use the tablet. Anytime I'm in mouse or not sculpt mode, I use the mouse. And right now I seamlessly go between items. Uh, it doesn't really bother me to switch back and forth. I think another thing that you gotta realize that uh, you have different tools available to you, use them, and after a while you'll get very accustomed to changing your tools up without thinking about it. But don't, I would not do this, I would not always use the same tool for everything. I always see students do that, like they will not put down the Wacom drawing tablet for the life of them, okay? Or they will not pick up the Wacom tablet for the life of them. They'll always use the mouse for everything. Get used to switching back and forth. It's good for you. Okay, so I'm just roughing out uh, a hand palm shape here. Now, it would be really hard to maybe produce a hand at this level because he, it's just so small. Well, remember, this is all linear, you can change it at any time. So what I'm gonna do here is make this pretty big. Okay. When I get them all combined down, I can then scale it back down, rotate it anywhere I need to, and then put it back into position. So I like to draw something or concept out something really big at first, and then I'll go back and kind of stitch it all together. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm going to deem a uh, palm. And then I'm going to go on to another new shape. Now I'll have to apply that modifier. Every time I need a new shape, I go back to object mode first. In this case, I'm going to need what? A cylinder. So I think you can get the name of the game here. I'm not changing anything up. I'm not adding any new rules to the game. These are all just cylinders or spheres, depending upon what you want to produce. Arms, fingers, legs are all cylinders. Muscle groups or big bodies are spheres. So I want to see if you can produce the hand and be able to uh, take its uh, location, put it here, scale it down, and put it into position here. Also, I would love to see you mirror it to the other side. It's gonna be a challenge for you. You're gonna pull out your hair every once in a while, but this is good for you. You have to make mistakes in order to learn. 
All right, so I'm going to stop this recording and give you an assignment.